temperatures. I'm gonna use one of these great uh, ruin arcs. Let's see if I can beat it this time. This is not going well. Yeah, this boss has been a pain in the ass to me. It mostly because it does the Scarlet Rod thing. But the bleed effect works. But uh, then it does things like that. I need a drink. I need a drink. This is going quite well this time. Except when that happens. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Red main knight. Oh. Oga. Ogha. Oga. I don't know how to pronounce that. <sighs> and this thing kept kicking my ass a couple of times over uh, previously. I'm actually quite pleased with myself about that. The next little bit is going to be a lot less challenging because I'm going to do some a little bit of backtracking. Well, he was. So. There we go. Oh boy. Looks like they're a little bit more aggressive than I thought. Do I even want to know what this stuff is that's coming from them? Albanoric blood cloth. A larval tear, I don't really need that. I know there's something up here. Oh, that guy doesn't look friendly. There we go. Now, if I'm correct... Secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Calm down, dude. I'm on your side. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus, an Albinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. Okay. You should meet the young Albinoric Latena. I happen to know where she is. So that's why I was here. Now. I have similar half of like that, but that was the Dectus medallion. Oh. So I need that to... Okay, so let's see. Branching the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Lyurnia. The right half is said to reside in the f in Fort Faroff in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. Oh, so I do need to go there. Uh, branching the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Roll, uh, granting access to a hidden path. In other words, the secret medallion will guide the bearer to the land of Michaela's Halic Tree. 
Okay, that's interesting. I didn't actually know that yet. Hello? Uh oh. There we go. Crucible Knot Talisman. That's an interesting sounding one. Possess no such medallion, or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? I didn't come for, for that sort of situation, lady. Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena, an Albanoric. The same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. So, about that medallion. Mm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo, will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Sure. Thank you kindly. I'm interested. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Erd Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants. Accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Okay. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. The wolf is already dead. Call upon me when needed. Mm -hmm. I will fight at your side. Okay. Now there's a few things I still want to... The hell? I don't remember Surprise, this place being... What the... Oh, him again? Oh no! Okay, I'm still alive. There we go. <laughs> Another one of these. Horrific weapon made of a hardened skeleton, skeletal arm wielded by Encha of the Royal Remains. Fitted by placing one's hands into the fist's grip until they dig in. Oh, clinging creature. A king relinquishes not the hand. A skill that demonstrates mastery of the art of controlling vital energies. Slow and controlled punch with an energy-infused fist that renders foes unconscious and steals their HP. Only effective against foes of human build. Yep. About Ensha. Oh, my apologies for that nasty business. 
Encher got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Encher is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Well, it's nice to know yeah, there's no love loss over it. I need more smithing stone freeze, but I haven't been able to find any. Egg nabbit. Let's see what's in here. Black knife catacombs. The beast eye quivers. Again. That can only mean one thing. That probably means skelly time. The hell? These dudes is. Yes. Nope. Nope. Oh no, don't tell me. Son of a I knew it! Get over here, you prick. Necromancers. This isn't so difficult. The music in this place is always so ominous and creepy. But it fits, obviously, but still. The hell? Oh no! My god, holy hell. This dude is no joke. This dude is This dude reminds me of something out of Bloodborne. Okay, he is not Oh no, not again. There we go. Optional boss defeated in this little dungeon. Assassin Cerulean Dagger and Black Knife Print. Well, that was certainly something. Wonder what that's gonna be, though. Oh, you have gotta be kidding me. That is such a dig move! Not this again! I'm stuck! Son of a... They have me cornered! I'm not again! This is bullshit! Stop backing off! Could you? Go no, not again! Quit with that! Son of a... That is... Oh, not this again! You have got to be kidding me! I can barely get him blowing! How is it still...
Those wolves are uh, doing some damage to him. The wolves did more than I did this time. Twin Sage Sorcerer ass. Ashes. That's all I get from this? Uh. Yay! The hell? Right. Siege equipment. I forgot about that. Yay! That's unpleasant. It's causing frenzy. Even being near one of those things causes frenzy. What the hell is going on up there? Oh, that's causing it. Okay, that hurts. Wow. <laughs> Apparently that. I well, I wasn't sure exactly what it was going to do, but Or maybe not. Did that deal with it? It did. Oh god, that's... Glad that's over with. So it was these yellow robed guys. Sure does a lot of damage. Yeah, no kidding. That required a head and then... Oh, do you need a specific... Or do you need to do it in front of this thing? Nice. Previous titles, uh, magic was sort of rudimentary, but they pretty much perfected the weapon combat, so I get why they decided to experiment more with magic in this one. Yeah, definitely. Dark Souls 3 magic became sort of obsolete in comparison to since the game's combat was much more focused with bloodborne's speed in mind so there wasn't really a need for uh a lot of complicated spells however i'm gonna go back here for a moment because there's something else i want to check it is constantly attracts enemies aggression why would you equip this Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. The corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. Seems useful. Yes, it's almost as useful. It's kind of It's kind of similar to the Calamity Ring from the Dark Souls franchise. That thing, that was a, not exactly the same, but it has a sort of similar idea behind it. It is said that the man named Shabriri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander, and with time, the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the empty sockets. Who is this Shabriri guy? There we go. Now I can do some uh, grave robbing in peace. Is he going to do something if he sees me? No, well, he's just chilling. Alright, I won't bother him if he doesn't bother me. 
Yeah. Oh crap. Is this the one with the book again? No, doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Offer death. You mean death fruit? Or something else? Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here. It's not really making anything clear. Offer death? Oh crap, it happened again. You know what? I think this is a good moment to just uh, call the quits. <laughs>